Hey, it's Big V and we're talking teams. So what's going on with teams and why do they fail? I've heard so many times I'll go to a conference or a national convention and I'll have an agent come up to me and say, yeah, I tried a team and it just didn't work for me. Or, you know, I hired an assistant and they left or I hired a buyer's agent and they just don't want to work as hard. And I hear that all the time. So why is it that teams fail? Well, we asked the same question and we just simply wanted to know. So we did the unexpected impact of teams in real estate study, where we hired a third party company from outside the industry to come in and really study what it is teams want, why they fail, and what are the things we have to do to help them succeed. Here's one of the numbers, 62% like way more than half of all team members say they wanted more specific training for their role on the team. What does that mean? And how as a leader can you provide more training? Well, obviously Workman is gonna have that training. We have buyer agent training, listing agent training, and admin training. We have a training program called Ramp, which is designed to take any agent and increase their production by two additional deals a month. But you don't have those things, so how do you train and develop? So let me give you just a few things that you can do as a team leader to solve the problem of we didn't get enough training. Number one, I'm gonna tell you that it's starting today. Like, I'm gonna ask you to make a decision today. Stop going alone. Like really, like if you go on an appointment with a buyer, take somebody with you. You go on an appointment with a seller, you take somebody with you. You don't have anybody to take with you, find someone to take with you. Never go alone. And then while they're there, their job is not to talk, it's not to add value to the conversation, it's to take notes and to listen. I remember going up to Seattle with a client one time and we went on a series of appointments. We went on 17 listing appointments in 48 hours, two days. Now think about that. And I watched him do short sell after short sell after short sell and go in every single home. What I learned was, is he had a system. He had a system for how he approached the client, what he did when he was inside the home, questions he asked, what he filled out, what to do if they were selling the house if they were divorced, where to put the husband and wife. If somebody had already moved out of the house or they were getting ready to lose it to the bank, there was a series or a process that was exactly the same in every single home. As I went out and came back in, I, you know, I look, I'm for a workman. I know how to sell houses and I'm pretty good at it. I wanted to add value. And I remember being taken in the back seat and taken to task. The agent says to me, Hey, that was really nice. Don't ever do it again. You're not allowed to talk. Matter of fact, when we go inside the home, I don't want to hear you even say anything other than yes or no. If the client asks you something, you can directly respond to that question, but I don't want you to talk. Let me make it a little more clear. He says, if the house catches on fire and there's smoke billowing in, while you're inside the home, I don't want you to talk. I want you to quietly get up, go outside and call 911. While you're in the house, you don't talk. And that was pretty clear to me. When you're training an agent, I want you to do the same thing. Set the standard of what you want them to do. Don't talk while they're in the home and just listen. Listen to understand, take great notes. And then when you're done, debrief. And what happens is you begin to form the patterns of an appointment. People want better training and development. The best trainer is the game. So never show or list alone. Always have somebody with you. When it comes time to train your administrative assistant or your client care coordinator, I want you to use Zoom. And even though you're in the same office, go into a different room, the mic on one end so you don't get feedback, open it up. And when you're showing them how to enter their property in the MLS or how to write a description or how to use chat GPT to create better descriptions or reviews of a home, I want you to think about recording everything you do. And that goes into what we call as an operations manual so that anything you do three times in your team, you have a system for it. Training requires specifically thinking about what it is you're going to delegate and making sure you have a recorded version of it, either in writing or on video. We did a lot of that for you. A lot of team leaders are trying to get their agents to perform at a higher level and they struggle with it. And so we brought in top agents from all over the country that do specifically work with buyers. And we built a program called Buyer Agent Mastery. And it's literally a 10 or 12 week course that helps you go from zero to two closed transactions a month as a buyer's agent. What do you do before the transaction? What do you do when you're with the client in the home? How do you get a buyer agreement signed? What do you do when the, when the objection of commission comes up and how do you deal with it so that you give more value you rather than reduce the price. There are so many great things you can do as a buyer's agent if you're trained properly. Well, because you don't have the resources to build a whole training program for buyer agent mastery, I just encourage you to use in the description below a link and learn more about the buyer agent mastery program available to all your buyer's agents. And I don't know if mine's better than yours, but I'll bet you mine's better than the one you currently don't have. And that's kind of a funny way to look at it, but we spent a lot of money investing and in really learning how to do it right so that you don't have to.
If you're training a listing partner or you want to become the great listing partner, we took agents that list over 200 houses a year and we brought them into Utah and we sat them down and we said, what do you do? What do you do before a listing? How do you do a pre-listing package? What do you do when you're inside the home? How do you approach and greet the client? When you sit down with them, what does your presentation look like? And what are the key ingredients in your premium marketing plan? And then when you get the house on the market and it doesn't sell, how do you make course corrections and get price productions without losing the listing? All of those things are now systematized in a great program. We call it SLAM, Seller Listing Agent Mastery. I think you'll have some fun with that. We have BAM, AMP, RAMP, and SLAM, and you wonder how we come up with all these great names. Well, BAM was created because Buyer Agent Mastery, that says BAM, that's kind of a fun name. AMP is Admin Mastery Training, and that's simple. You're going to amp up your business by having operational excellence, and we got to Listing Agent Mastery, LAM. That was kind of lame. So we put an S on the front of it, and we called it SLAM. That's how we do our naming convention at Workman Success, is we want energy in our training, and we're not that smart, so we just do the best we can. But I will tell you, the content inside is brilliant. And here's what I tell my agents. Unless you're listing more than 200 houses a year, just maybe do it my way because that's how much these agents are doing that participated in giving content to Slam, Bam, Amp, and Ramp. So the next training program is a program, we call it RAMP. And RAMP stands for Rising Agent Mastery. What is a rising agent? It's an agent who is here and they're stuck and they wanna go to here. So how do you go from here to here and what are the key things you must do? It includes training for both buyers and sellers so that a general agent that works both has the ability to improve their production by 24 transactions a year. Can I ask you a question? What would happen to your family, to your income, to the way you live life if you increased your sales by 24 units a year? Would you live a little better? Would you vacation with a little more style? Maybe upgrade your rental car to one that has legroom in the front and the back seat? Just by doing 24 additional transactions a year, it might change whether your kids are playing comp sports versus community sports or rec sports. You know, being a parent and having a family is expensive and it seems to me that it gets more and more expensive the older they get. And then when they get married, their problems become even more expensive. So I just want to make more money. If you want to make more money, go through Rising Agent Mastery. Why do real estate agents fail? They fail and team leaders fail because they don't know how to train. They aren't intentional about creating systems for training and development, or they don't plug into training that already exists. Whichever bucket you fall in, there's a solution. Start training new people by never going alone. Anything you do three times, write it down and create a system for it. If it's something on the computer or online and you're training an admin, use Zoom to create videos and then plug in to BAM, AMP, SLAM, or RAMP and let us be your training partner. It's not easy, but it is simple if you follow the systems. I'd like to give you something just because you're here today. If you go down into the description below, you'll see a link where just because you watch this video, and I'm not going to do it on the other videos, I'm going to give you a 30-day pass for free to Rising Agent Mastery. You can go through the whole 10-week program in 30 days if you want to, but just go through the program and see if this training will help elevate your agents and your business to a new stratosphere. Let's get them trained and let's stop struggling as team leaders. The answers are there. All you have to do is plug in.